Renee. So as you can see in my title, today I'm going to be making edible makeup. So I made an edible makeup video before where I made edible lip gloss, edible chapstick, and edible lipstick. And here it is. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to watch that after you watch this one. I will also link that video at the end. Also make sure to subscribe because I have new videos coming out every week and you don't want to miss them. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you can be notified every time a new video is posted. So just as a video disclaimer, I just first wanted to say that this makeup that I'm going to be making is only for eating. I would not put this on your face. I mean you could put it on your face but you probably shouldn't. So. Enough chit chat, let's get started. So to make this edible blush, you're gonna need a makeup tin, hello. So if you have an old makeup tin, just kind of like empty out whatever's in it and then just thoroughly wash the inside. You really wanna make sure you clean the tin because you don't want any lurking bacteria. So in a mixing bowl, I'm going to be adding cornstarch. And cornstarch is going to make everything kind of like stick together. And then I'm going to be adding some powdered sugar. And then I thought it would be cool to add some like sweet tarts in there. And I'm just going to be using some clean scissors to kind of like cut it up and turn the sweet tarts into like a powder. And just kind of use the scissors to kind of grind everything up. So that does kind of take a little while to get the sweet tarts to a powder consistency. So I'm just going to add a little bit just to give it a little bit of tartness. So I added some water and some food coloring together and I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. So now the blush has turned into a paste consistency. Now I'm going to be packing this into my makeup container. So now I'm going to put this in the freezer to let it harden. So I took my blush out of the freezer and it looks super shiny. So I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar and just kind of like rub that on there to see if it kind of like makes it, you know, less shiny. So this is a lot more red than actual blushes and it definitely looks more like a cream blush than a powdered blush. But I feel like somebody would actually fall for this looking like real makeup. So to make this edible foundation, I'm using this empty foundation container that I had and to be honest it really took like 20 to 30 minutes to like thoroughly clean this out to a point where I would actually eat out of it. So I was trying to think of something edible that foundation looks like and I came up with pudding. So I think this is kind of like a really like clever idea since pudding and foundation is kind of like similar in consistency. So I don't think anybody's skin color is actually this light. So I'm going to be mixing in a little bit of chocolate pudding. So I did a little bit of sampling here in my bowl and here's what I come up with. So now I'm going to make some more to put in my foundation bottle and I'm just going to be spooning out some of the light pudding. And you're only going to need a little bit of the dark pudding depending on what color your skin is. And you just keep kind of like mixing the puddings together until you get the right color. So now I have the right foundation pudding color. So the foundation that I have is like a dream liquid mousse. So this is like pretty much perfect for this foundation bottle. So now I'm just going to be adding my pudding to the bottle. So I'm finding it easier to take the end of the spoon and just to kind of like push the pudding through the center. So I finished packing in the pudding and this seriously looks like legit right now. This really turned out like even better than what I thought it was going to be. This like legit looks like real foundation. So I think this would be like a hilarious prank to pull on somebody to get them to use pudding on their face or to like actually eat this in front of somebody. So now to test and see if this pudding actually goes through the nozzle. And it does. 
And now you have edible foundation. So to make edible eyeliner, I thoroughly cleaned out this almost empty gel eyeliner that I have. I pretty much just like wiped it clean. It was pretty easy to clean. And then I washed it with dish soap just to make sure there wasn't any like lurking bacteria anywhere. So to make the gel eyeliner, I'm gonna be adding cookie icing. So in my jar, I'm just gonna be squeezing in some white icing. And then to make my eyeliner black, I'm gonna be mixing in some black food coloring. And then I'm just going to be stirring all of that together. And that's the only thing you need to do to make your own edible eyeliner. You can also put this in the refrigerator to get the icing to kind of harden a little bit. But I feel like this would be a hilarious prank to pull on somebody to make it look like you're eating real gel eyeliner. Just make sure you're using something clean and sanitary to eat your eyeliner with. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos coming out every week. Also, don't forget to watch my other edible makeup video that's going to be linked right at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!